what is going on, everybody? Let's hop right into it. I'm not wasting anybody's time. I want to go more into the Osmo Pocket 3 in this video, but from the audio side. And one of the reasons, one of the selling points that made me pick up this Osmo Pocket 3, and I've been loving it. So if you get the creator combo of the Osmo Pocket 3, which you do have to shell out some more money, it does give you a few more perks and it adds more to the actual package and the experience of the Oswell Pocket 3. So with the creator combo, you get an extra battery, you get an extra, you get a case, you get a tripod, but the major, major thing is you get the DJI wireless mic 2 with it. And you can buy the wireless mic 2 separately, it's out now, but it comes with the creator combo of the DJI Oswell Pocket 3, which for me, I'm really big on audio. Audio is super important when you are doing your videos. You can have a low resolution video, the video quality isn't that great, but if you have great sound, great audio, it will make up for it. So always remember, put the audio as a priority. So you can get the DJI wireless mic two with it. And I have the wireless mic one, and which was great as well, like I still use it, honestly. But the wireless two takes all the good things from the one and all the negatives and it corrects it and it really makes it an awesome, awesome wireless mic. And then the beauty of the Oswo Pocket 3 is the receiver is built into the actual camera. So if anyone anybody gets like a wireless mic for their phone or for their camera, you know you have to get like here's actually the receiver from the wireless one. Right, you have to get the receiver, and then now you got to mount it to the camera or to your phone, run your three and a half jack to it through it, and then okay, connect your your mic, which is fine, but it just makes it clunky and it's like you have to do all these extra steps. With Basmo Pocket Three, since it's built right into it, all you have to do is just connect the mic to it, and you're good to go. And it's been an amazing experience. The fact that I don't have to bring a ton of extra stuff. I can just turn on the camera, turn on the mic, and we're ready. And that's what I talk about when you're getting gear, is how does it fit into your workflow? Is it making things easier for you? Is it gonna make you more money? Is it gonna make you money? That's how I kind of gauge, okay, do I need this or not? Yes, there's some products that, you know, I just want it, like I just, I just want this lens. But when I'm purchasing gear, correctly i always think about okay is this helping my workflow is this making things easier is this what my client needs is this something that i need for my personal project that's how i make my my decisions and having the ability just to take the camera out attach the, the mic and you're ready and i think the, from what i've heard from my videos and i'm usually in like a noisy gym the quality of the mic sounds pretty, pretty good, especially in comparison to if you just use the onboard mic of the camera, which I won't do like a compare and contrast. Like there's a ton of videos out for that, but I just want to show you guys the power of what this camera can do and how you can make it fit for your workflow. So now that you have this wireless mic set up, which I think anyone who's doing any sort of content, you want to invest in a wireless mic at some point. Having just the onboard mic, like a little mini shotgun mic, you know, I see a lot of like content creators, vloggers when they're doing like food reviews and things like that. When you have just the onboard, like a boom mic, a mini boom mic, just positioned on the camera, it's going to pick up all of the surrounding noise. So yes, it may be slightly better than just having or just using your camera's mic, right? Or just using whatever your phone's mic, but it's still going to capture a lot of the surrounding noise. When you get a wireless mic, now you have the option. I'm using actually a noise reduction on this as well, even though it's quiet in here. But now you have, it's gonna pick up more of directional sound. So as I'm speaking into the mic, it's picking up that wavelength and then everything else or the surrounding sound, depending on the wavelength, it is actually blocking it out. So I would highly, highly suggest go ahead and get a wireless mic. If you are interested in getting the Osmo Pocket 3, definitely make the sacrifice, figure out, I would get the combo pack. 
do not get the standalone pack because eventually the things that it does come with within the combo pack, you're going to end up buying it anyway. So I would just suggest go ahead and just knock it out. Everything that comes in a combo pack, you're going to use and it can be useful. You're going to want to have the extra battery. Okay. You, even though we probably, you guys are making videos, I'm sure you have tripods all over the place, but you want to have this little, this tripod because once again, form factor. When I travel, I'm trying to travel as light as possible and bring the max and maximize the gear that I have. Okay. Uh, you're going to want to have the case, right? You're going to want to have the case. And definitely you're going to want to have the wireless mic because once again, it unlocks a ton of opportunities. The range on this is crazy. You can go so far away from the actual camera itself and you can still have the sound. And like I said in the other video, you have that active tracking. So now it can really add a lot of dynamic shots and a lot of creative shots to what would be usually just very static, boring shots. Or if you don't have a wireless mic, you got to do an overlay on the sound. You got to do like an overlay recording. So it's more work, more work, more work. So imagine wireless mic, active tracking, you can go far out on your shots, still pick up great sound. It's a lot, a lot of pros that goes with it. So just wanted to actually just share that with you guys. Won't make this too long, but hopefully that helps if you are making a decision on your next purchase. Maybe it is the Pocket 3 or a different camera, but whatever it is, go ahead, get out there. The tools are out there, but at the end of the day, it's about you. It's about the story you want to convey. It's about the message you want to get out. So more videos on the way. Actually, and one more thing. Nah, we'll save it for the next one. More videos on the way. Let's get it.